My name is uh, Dustin Brown. I'm the Vice President of Burrell Behavioral Health and uh, welcome to the Burrell uh, Behavioral Crisis Center. What we're gonna do is take a, a quick tour through the building and uh, tell you a little bit about the services that we provide here. So this building really is set up um, as a quick drop off for law enforcement and emergency medical staff. Uh, and it was designed to make sure that we uh, encounter those individuals and get them back to work as quickly as they can. When individuals come into our facility, they walk immediately in to get cleared um, for the safety of our staff and the safety of the people entering the building. So once buzzed in, individuals will enter the waiting room and encounter some of our uh, reception staff up front uh, who will get everybody uh, started on the bare minimum paperwork necessary to start services as quickly as possible. So one of the very first things that we wanna do as soon as somebody comes into the building is make sure that they have a full health assessment and make sure that they're appropriate for the services that we can provide here. So as soon as they finish the paperwork, individuals will come straight into our exam rooms and meet with one of our nursing staff. Our exam rooms are fully set up for a full medical examination uh, for the nurses as well as the medical providers that come in here to make sure that an individual is healthy and that they're not into a medical crisis that would need to uh, facilitate uh, taking them to the emergency department. Uh, those individuals will, will wait here uh, while the nurse completes the assessment and make sure that all the exclusion and inclusion criteria are met uh, so that they can receive services. In most cases, our medical providers will then come in and provide the rest of the medical assessment and determine whether they are in need of psychiatric care or medical care and start providing the treatment necessary for those individuals. If individuals are coming in off the street, sometimes the homeless population, uh, what we want to do is make sure that they're as comfortable as possible during their stay. And we also want to make sure that they stay as safe as possible. And so one of the unique parts about our facility is the ability for individuals to take a shower as well as store their, um, their belongings, uh, as well as get them heat treated to make sure that we don't have uh, anything like bed bugs, bacteria, stuff like that, so that we can make sure that they're comfortable and their possessions are taken care of while they're here. After an individual has their initial intake assessment, we make sure that they're clean and comfortable. Um, one of the most unique aspects of the Behavioral Crisis Center is our actual treatment pods that we have and the room in which they receive treatment. Now in most inpatient settings or crisis centers, there's individual rooms or beds in which individuals stay um, maybe isolated um, or they don't have the chance to engage in staff at all points. What we have here are some quiet rooms for individuals to transition into um, while they make their stay and start treatment. But the unique area is actually our open treatment area. Instead of beds, we have recliners um, that individuals stay in that are separated into pods. Our treatment area is very open. This allows line of sight from our nurses at all times to make sure that individuals that may be suicidal um, or they may be in uh, immediate crisis have eyes on them at all times. But it also allows individuals to um, interact with other people uh, and receive group treatment and group education uh, at the same time as receiving individual treatment in one of our quiet rooms.